Hi. Now, in this example, we've got to find the coordinates of the points where the line y equals x minus 2 crosses the curve y equals 3 divided by x. Now, I picked this example just purely because we're dealing with a line and not a parabola this time, but a hyperbola. But basically, there's no difference in the method. All we've got to do is solve the equation simultaneously use our diagram there just to give us a rough idea of what the solutions should be so we can check to see whether they look sensible. Okay so in the usual way I'll just say at the point of intersection we'll abbreviate point of intersection we need to put each of the equations equal to one another and so what we would have here is that 3 divided by x equals x minus 2. Our y coordinates would be the same for some particular value of x. Now first of all I would want to get rid of that x so I would want to multiply both sides by x and that's going to give me 3 equals x squared minus 2x. We've got a quadratic equation here because of the x squared so I need to rearrange it and I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So that's going to give me x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Assuming it factorizes, I'm going to factorize it. If not, you could still use the quadratic formula. So for this, factorizing it, we've got x minus 3 and x plus 1, and that's going to equal 0. So that means that either factor here would equal 0, so therefore x minus 3 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. In this case, add 3 to both sides and we get x equals 3. In this one here, just subtract 1 from both sides and you get x equals minus 1. We need to find out what the corresponding y value is, so we could just say substitute into here or here, it doesn't make any odds, they're both just as easy to work with. So we've got that when x equals 3, y would equal, we'll go for this one, 3 divided by 3 which is going to be 1 and when x equals minus 1, y would equal 3 divided by minus 1 so we'd have y equals minus 3. So therefore the points of intersection in answer to the question are going to be, well we've got 3, 1, 3, 1 and we've got this one here, minus 1, minus 3, minus 1, minus 3. Do they look reasonable? 3, 1 and this one, minus 1, minus 3. Yeah, I think they look pretty good. Well, they are right, but uh, as I say, just use your sketch to see if they look reasonable. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this example.